Hey again, so I want to talk today about using blood pressure cuffs as tourniquets. About a decade ago, I had a patient, he had a mangled leg, and we used a blood pressure cuff to stop flow in the leg. And after that, people got upset that we didn't have dedicated tourniquets. Uh, the issue is most blood pressure cuffs have a hard time getting around large thighs. There are large sized cuffs out there, but I'm going to show you a little hack here. For starters, I'm just going to put a cat tourniquet onto my manometer here, and I'm going to zero it out. Crank it down as hard as I can. All right, so you can see that got into the mid 200s and I've shown this before, but pressure decrement happens right away. All right, so with a blood pressure cuff, this is the issue. I actually can't get it all the way around. However, if I'm in an ER that's any good, I probably have two of these. So I'm gonna take it, thread it through. Tack that down. They don't have to be the same cuff. And you may need to adjust both sides here. All right, I'm going to zero this out. Make that tight. And now I just start pumping. And let's see how high we can get the pressure. This is in millimeters of mercury. All right, as always, pressure decrement happens under every tourniquet. You gotta keep that in mind, but that's up to 400. All right, let's compare and contrast blood pressure cuffs with dedicated tourniquets. So both of them have to be able to stop arterial flow. If you can't stop arterial flow, you can't call yourself a tourniquet or a blood pressure cuff. Uh, this type of tourniquet, uh, pre-hospital dedicated tourniquets, are things that you can have in your pocket. They're lightweight, you can apply it quicker, probably better if you're walking across a minefield, but it's more painful, it's a narrower band, um, it has distinct set points, and it doesn't hit the same high pressure. If you're in an ER and you have two blood pressure cuffs, you can easily get much higher pressures. And so the downside is it takes a little bit more time and thought to apply them, but it's going to be wider distributed pressure. It's going to hurt less, going to cause a little bit less tissue destruction. So, you know, choose what you want. But the bottom line is with the combination of these two, I can get some really high pressures.